Hey guys, this is a late night Friday reading. Um, for the first time, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my Monopoly of Tarot. I think that's what it's called. Um, talented girl that makes these. Um, it's kaleidoscope.com, but I love it. I love these cards so far. I just got them yesterday, so I like the energy in them. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use that. Um, again, this is a late night. Uh, video uh, for you guys starting Stable Avenue Ace of Pentacles you know Ace of Pentacles is um, a foundation and success so look at all these cards trying to come out for you this is a general read uh, like share and subscribe uh, trying to gain my followers um, just because I have something to say these cards have something to say and I have something to uh, relate to you for them. I'm only taking one card and so far all of these cards are popping out. I'll take one card at a time. But yeah, uh, Ace of Pentacles energy, foundations and success. You see these cards keep trying to come out like that? But yeah, I'll go ahead and take several tarot cards. See how that came out. Provider of Prosperity and Power. King of Pentacles. Uh, so far with the Pentacles, we got um we have Earth energy on the board, and the King of Pentacles is a stability, uh, a stability, uh, uh, a stability, is stability. Um, sorry, uh, dependable and a, a strong, successful person. Then you have the Death card, transformation. Uh, it's card of Scorpio, fear. Um, what are you, you know? Starting stable, provider of prosperity and power. What are you scared of? You know, what are you scared of? Why are you, you know, why are you fearing with this death card being here and ending? What are you ending? A provider of emotional support and maturity, passion and desire gardens and darkest before the dawn. That's what it is. You're scared in order for you to move forward to a different level. And you're, you know, that's the reason why the death card comes out. Supporter of truth and protection. So you've been a protector uh, when it comes to how you do things uh, in life. I don't want to cut this off, but I think I'm going to have to because it's a glare. Um, yeah, that way you can see it better. Um, but yeah, uh, you've been you've been a protector. You've been a protector this whole time for uh, whoever you're dealing with, whether it be friends, family, um, as, uh, emotional or love interest or some type of relationship. You have been. So you're starting, uh, starting a stable avenue with the Ace of Pentacles, which is a foundation. And then you have provider of prosperity and, and power, uh, which is the King of Pentacles. And that is, you know, you actually... Um, um, being stable and successful and also dependable. And so this is where this stableness comes in at, and then there's an ending. So maybe there's an ending to how, you know, the things that you were doing beforehand, you know, uh, before you probably weren't stable and now it is, you are, and uh, there's a death card, which could be an ending or transformation and also fear in this same process. But then it makes more sense because a provider of emotional support and maturity King of Cups energy is um, someone who is very consi a considerate creative guide, uh, which, is, which is the King of Cups energy, somebody who can provide that emotional support and who was also mature enough to handle this. And that's what it seems like you've been in this process or somebody has been this to you. So this has come to an end in regards to um, you, you changing the way you do things because you've been, you know, you've been uh, it seems like you probably weren't stable in the past and now you are stable and um, everything about this reading so far seems like you are the person who people rely on, but you were never able to rely on yourself. And that's why you're ending this cycle. And that's the fear that's coming in. Because again, the provider of emotional support and maturity is the King of Cups energy and passion and desire gardens is the Ace of Wands energy. And normally in the regular Tarot, the Ace of Wands is new beginning, but then there's the darkest before the dawn, which is the Ten of Swords energy, which is uh, like, hurt or defeat or deflict or affliction or tears. So again, you have been this emotional support for everyone, but you had to end that in order to be supportive for yourself, if that makes sense. So that's the reason why these cards are coming out the way they are. So I'm going to go ahead and pull um, 
I'll pull from the tarot, uh, I think this is the Everyday Witch, we're going to go ahead and clarify stable, uh, starting Stable Avenue. You know, this so far seems like you were the provider uh, in regards to every relationship that you've been a part of. Yeah, so you went with that. So here, it's the Knight of Cups coming out. And the Knight of Cups is, the, is, a, is you know, the person that goes and gives a message. So um, the Knight of Cups... Um, the energy of the Knight of Cups is just like uh, creative news, new ideas, you know, something like that. Uh, a romantic, I'm sorry, romantic approach or invitation. So starting the Stable Avenue is having a romantic approach to a new situation or some type of approach to a new situation. You know, you see the hearts here um, for the uh, Cups. You see him, he has like the fool's energy. So he's on his way to give the energy of Oh, okay, I can do this. But then you have the hermit card come out. And with the hermit card come out, you know, it's just like, okay, you know that this is, you know, you're doing a material detachment, you know, when it comes to, you know, searching for, you know, that soulmate or that person that, you know, you're starting the stable life with. So, you know, uh, that's where it is in regards to this. But the provider of prosperity and power with the king of pentacles, we're going to go ahead. So, you know, Either you have been this or you're actually getting to the point to where you, um, you know, you're not going to be this for anybody but the person, you know, the love of your life. You know, you've been this for family and friends, you know, this supportive person, but you've never received this uh, from uh, them, you know, you know, nothing in return. And you weren't expecting, uh, you know, the you know, all of this, you weren't expecting it. What you were expecting is someone, you know, if you needed to cry on someone's shoulder and not just always be a supportive system for someone else or a support system for someone else. And that's why you went with them uh, with the hermit card and said, this is going to stop with the death, the death card, the fear of having to step up and set boundaries, you know, and that's what that seems like to me. You're making you know, making time for yourself and you're setting boundaries. Yeah, provider, power, uh, the prosperity and power. King of Pentacles here, high priestess here. The high priestess is basically um, like uh, someone who does different type of studies. Look at that. You're here. Um, you're here with me listening to a tarot read, you know, and she has her her tarot cards here with her glow, um, her uh, crystal ball and her candle so you know it's just a sp different spiritual way of doing things instead of you know saying oh, okay I'm only going to pray to God you're going within and you're taking uh you know uh hot hot baths with uh essential oils or you know you're trying to um you know find different ways to heal yourself queen of cups energy so yeah this is the fear but the queen of cups is a nurturer. She's pregnant. You know, she's a pregnant lady. You know, there is a fear when ending, you're doing something that's different. There's a fear of ending that and transforming into this strong person. You're always going to be a nurturer. That's why the king of cups energy is here and the king of pentacles is here. But you have to start on stable ground somewhere. Um, it's just like they say, you know, if you're in an airplane, you have to save yourself before you save anyone else. You've been giving away your energy to everyone and anyone that comes in your life. And now it's time for you to give this to yourself. So the provider of emotional support uh, and uh, maturity is who you are. And people are not going to be used to you not doing that. And here is the seven of wands. Yeah, you were pro you're protecting and you've been protecting everyone else's energy and feelings and trying to help them be the supporter of truth and protection. That's why the queen of swords is here and the seven of wands is here. You've been you've been being this person that everyone can lean on, but no one, you've never been able to do this for yourself. You've always had things in shambles when it's coming to yourself. And now the passion and desire gardens with the Ace of Wands energy, you know, because if you see here, you know, the provider of emotional support, Seven of Wands energy is protection. You know, the Seven of Wands energy is protection when it comes to, uh, you know, challenges and things like that. So you've been protecting everybody else and telling them how they should do things, but nobody has, you can, you can never do that for yourself. So you never set boundaries for yourself. And then we have the devil card, which is some kind of, um, and this, the devil card is, um, card of uh, Capricorn, it's like a temptation or obsession. Um, it also is uh, uh, trapped, feeling trapped or repressed um, 
or deceived, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, uh, tie, a, a tie or blockage or, you know, um, addiction or enslaved, feeling like you don't have a, another choice but to do this. But that's why passion and desire gardens, if the devil card comes out, because here is the ace of wands. The ace of wands, you know, is a new beginning. You're changing this energy because look at this, look at this tricture. He has, he has a, a, a pocket, he has money in his hand and ice cream for the little girl. And then the cat is like, no, no, no don't, don't look at him. He's not, he's no good, you know, stay away from him. Look at the, the smirk on his face, you know, and she's scared and he's like, okay, but he's like offering you the things that you need. But in this situation, nobody is offering you emotional or mature support. So you have to start from the beginning. You've been the provider of prosperity and power for everyone. You'll give anyone your last, you know, you'll do pretty much anything for anyone. And then we have the higher for energy with the darkest before the dawn. You're learning how to meditate. You're learning how to ground yourself. Higher for energy is, you know, basically you taking the lead and teaching um, and going back to where the high priestess is, learning different types of beliefs and different types of traditions when it comes to, you know, learning how to ground yourself, meditation, uh, using candles, using crystals for healing, you know, different types of healing energy. Um, and that's the reason why you're here with the Hierophant, the darkest before the dawn, because you have to learn who you are as a person. Six of Pentacles energy at the bottom of the deck is, you know, fairness and generosity and success. So once you get to this point of starting a stable avenue, you're starting over. And that's where the death card comes in is the fear and the transformation of doing something different. People are going to always have something to say because you're choosing to do something different. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. That's the re that's how people are when it comes to someone changing up. They're going to be like, oh, you're brand new because you did this. And it's like, no, I'm not. You know, I'm trying to take care of myself because if I don't do it, um, you, you know, you'll steady constantly continue to think that I'm going to take care of you. And that's whether it's in a relationship with a man, a male, female, whatever it is, you know, you have to be able to take care of yourself first before you can go out and do anything else for anyone else, you know? And so that's the reason why I say when it comes to what people, you know, what you do for people, people won't understand it when it, when, when you say no, they won't understand. They'll just basically think that you're acting funny. And that's like not the case. You just need to figure out how you need to do things when it comes to you being, you know, look, the magician card comes out. That's the first card that pops out when I'm coming to clarify the stable avenue, a uh, starting stable and the Knight of Cups and the Hermit. The magician comes out because, again, you can manifest the material thing and that's what people don't understand and you've been doing that forever and now it's time for you to uh to start you know taking care of yourself and not manifesting and not feeling like everything is a burden and that's why the ten of wands comes out because the provider and the prosperity and power you're draining your energy that's why you're going within and trying to find different ways with this um higher vent, uh, excuse me high priestess card you're trying to find different ways to get your energy back because you feel like it's being drained and with the death card and the queen of cups card yeah the six of swords you're walking away from the energy of being drained you don't want to feel uh drained you know uh, right now, you know, uh, don't is on by Bryson Tiller, a song from a long time ago. But, you know, it's like, don't, you know, somebody got to step up, you know, you know, it, and it's like, OK, so now the sun card comes out with the provider of emotional support. It's like he says he see that you fed up. He's on a whole nother level. Um, he only messed you over because you let him. That man didn't show you no effort. He gonna do what he can to show you he's special, you know? So that is the type of energy that you need. And a lot of people don't understand that. When you give, 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 you never receive because you don't ask for nothing. Your blessings come from you giving, but you deserve better. And that's what Bryson Tiller is saying. You know, looking at you, I think he must be tripping, you know? So whether this is a general read for you or someone else, you know, stop giving yourself away to, the cause of making yourself empty and your energy go down. That's just kind of that. So maybe this should be like, don't, you know, passion gardens and desires. 
gardens and then the devil card coming out six of wands in the moon unknown energy you know this guy you know Bryson Taylor is saying if you were mine you would not be the same if you were mine you were top anything you know and he's telling this person you are worth more than what you're dealing with you know that's with anything whether it be a relationship or not so we have the six of wands energy uh coming out clarifying passion and and desire garden for the ace of wands and the devil the six of wands is basically um you uh getting a message of protection uh victory or some type of achievement so you've gotten to this point point where you're your emotional support uh and mature enough to do this and the unknown energy comes out to me is because you don't know where it's going to be because that's why it's darkest before the dawn and we're going to clarify that with the and also the hierophant card you know and it's like you have to understand your worth and where you are you know so two cards pop out. Let me see. Oh, look. I, it was three. Yeah. Walking over. Oh, two. It was two cards. No, look at that. Oh, this is too many cards. But yeah, I'll go ahead and take them. Bottom of the deck is the hangman, you know. Um, the hangman energy is, um, you know, basically, sorry, uh, being in suspense or sacrificing, letting go you know, uh, a situation, but you look here with the darkest before the dawn, you have to walk away from things that no longer serve you. Then we have the nine of cups here and the nine of cups is achievement. So you're achieving things and you're not feeling heartbroken anymore with the three of swords energy. But then um, my camera is twisted. Okay. Can you see? Okay, please don't fall down. Okay, so you're no longer, you know, you're not heartbroken anymore because it's darkest before the dawn. And then the lover's energy comes out. So once you start loving yourself, you know, the lover's energy is basically crossroads, feelings, the beginning of a new relationship. You're starting over. There is no more five of wands energy where you feel like you have to, uh, um, where you feel like you have to uh, uh, have a debate or be in competition with people, you know, or the intention. The Ace of Swords comes out. Um, I thought once again, I was going to say, but maybe that I was the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, but the Ace of Swords comes out and that's that's power and ideas. So you already have there, you have the Hermit card here. Again, I think the Hermit card was here somewhere right here. Yeah, the Hermit card for starting a stable, you know, searching for, um, uh, uh, you know, searching for something or material detachments, Carter Virgo, but then you have the will of fortune, which is luck is on your side because of the fact that you figured out where you have to start from and why you were there. You know, the power of uh, provider of prosperity and power is always you, but your fear and you're ending something because you know that you've always been a provider of emotional support and maturity for everyone else, but you're not getting that. So you are fearful of you walking away and starting to set boundaries for people and not knowing what they will understand or if they will like it or not. And then you're just like, you know what, whatever. Um, that's where I, I'm at. And so I think these are called the Chinese. What are these called? The Chinese reading cards. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these and pull another card because, yeah, you are, you know, doing the things that you need to do. And when that happens, I'm going to take this card and not these. When that happens, people don't understand that and people don't like that. So the card that we have that came out is travel. So, yeah, you're doing stuff. You're traveling, you're enjoying yourself. You know, this is two cards. The boat is here, the boat is here. You see the boat here, the boat's there. And then here it is. Where did I see it? Mm. Where did I see the boat at? Do, do, do. Where, oh, Eight of Cups, walking away. That's the travel here. You know, that's the travel. So you are doing what it is that you need to do. And a lot of times you have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you or that's not serving you at best. You know, new beginnings is at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, you have to walk away from those things. I'll pull a couple more cards. Um, don't ask me what this name of this card deck is. Um, but I'll pull a couple. More. I think it's this Soul's Journey card deck. I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, I think this, sorry, I had to move that camera. I think this is the Soul's Journey card deck. 
Um, so guilt, yeah, again, you feel guilty. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Forgiveness, I acknowledge the harboring resentment blocks that flow of love and happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. And so everywhere is a path. It's a path of growth. And so sometimes people don't understand that when you're giving everything balance, you got to have some type of balance. But when you're giving too much to, of yourself, you know, you burn yourself out. And so that's where you were. You know, all of these things are in regards to healing, you know, and, and, and not actually, uh, you know, not actually just giving everything to someone and so that is where you are when it comes to this energy and people don't understand that because you know you're starting a, uh starting to become stable by setting boundaries i'll take this one and not these you know you're starting to become stable by setting boundaries and people don't like that read so yeah reading is fundamental you know, sometimes you have to read and be at peace and be able to sit there and focus on what it is that you're doing. Also, because it was just a full moon, I'll pull a full moon oracle or monology oracle deck. I'll pull that because, yeah, when you get to a point to where you're trying to heal, a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people think that, oh, she's changing up on me because, you know, I'm she's doing it this way or she's doing it that way. Or she's acting funny. And it's like, no, I'm not. I'm taking care of myself. You're very close to achieving your goals. The gibbous moon. There you go. And the next one is hold your vision. Fix moon. So, yeah, hold on. No matter what and how you feel, you're ending that cycle of giving, 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 and never receiving. You're trying to receive your equal. That's the reason why Bryson Tiller, Tiller's song came on Don't. Because he's saying, you don't know. You know, how, you, you know, you don't know your worth, you know, you don't know your worth. He or she don't know your worth. And if it was me, you know, I would do this, you know, and I would cherish you, you know, you haven't felt that at all. And so now you're just like, I need this in my life. Recognition. You need somebody to recognize who you are. You need somebody to understand who you are because a lot of people don't understand. And that's that, you know, and, and now you're, you're, you feel empty, you know. You feel empty, and that is why you are changing the way you do things, you know? You're starting stable. You're starting off stable, you know? Stability, you know? That's what you need, you know? You're the provider of prosperity and power, but, and also, you are the provider of emotional support and maturity and passion and desire, but who is that to you? Who, who, who does that for you, you know? Are you just doing that for, for yourself or whatever, or I know it makes you happy and it makes you, it, it feels a void of something that you haven't had, but that is where you have to find that, that will come to you as long as you manifest it the right way. Now this, and yes, I am just pulling several oracles. This is from, I think it's the true love, um, true love reading cards. I think that's what this is. Um, I'll go ahead and pull this because, you know, maybe you're looking for your significant other, you know, and maybe that's the reason why you are at this point, you know, like you've dealt with people that has not been your significant other or that has not lasted. And you're just like, you know what, looking back and reflecting on what it is that you've done wrong in the past and why it is that you feel like you're getting these type of people, they're emotionally draining, never emotional least supported. And so we have a divine masculine, like I said, in creativity. You are very creative. It says that with the kings that are around here and, you know, on this board, but you're very creative. And this is the divine masculine that you're looking for. So whether it be divine ma and forgiveness. So yeah, I think that came on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, you know, you, oh, a manifestation came out. Look at that. I don't even see that part. Uh, yeah, the manifestation card came out. I wonder when that came out. But yeah, so you're manifesting. And this says that here, you're going within. Look at the hermit card. Same energy, right? High priestess. Eyes closed. Manifesting. Look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at that. Everybody is meditating and manifesting. And then I think I've seen it somewhere else too. Where did I see it? But everybody is doing the same thing. You know, you are 
providing and figuring out what it takes in order for you to get to this point. And, and there you have it. Boom. Once you get to that point, you will. Oh, right here. Boom. That's why I know I've seen it somewhere else. Everybody is manifesting. Everybody is focusing on the things that will help them grow. Look at her. You see her face? Look at hers. Look at them. They're all manifesting. They're learning different ways in order to ground themselves. So that should tell you what it is. You know, you, you need to know what your worth is and you need to let make people, you know, not necessarily make them because if they don't do it, then you know what? It's just time for you to move on. And that's where these cards are here. Sorry, I, I have a bad thing about shuffling while I'm finishing up and cleaning up. But um, hold on one second. You have all these competition cards, you know, but the moving on part right here. Sorry, these cards are thick. All of these are unknown, but watch these. Where is it at? The messages. I don't know where is that. But anyway, here, these three cards are moving on. Look at them. Everybody is going down a path. Everybody is, he, she's in the water. She's walking down the path. She's walking away. Moon card is unknown. So that just lets you know that you have to be able to move on in order to get through this. You have to be able to look at things a different way because all of these other cards, these fighting cards, you know, and being in competition, look at this, your swords are always up because you don't know, you know, what somebody else is. If they hurt, they hurt, you know? They hurt. There's only, you know, but it tells you here, this is you grounding yourself with the hermit card. You know, look at all these people here. You're fighting these people. You have to fight this person off from, from, from leading you down the wrong path, you know, or giving you the wrong type of energy. This is saying that you're powerful enough to do it, but this is a competition that you're in that causes this, this energy, you know? And so that's the reason why I say that. You need to support yourself, be emotionally supportive for yourself and not for anyone else, you know? This is how you should be sitting when it comes to anything, with your cups, your hands crossed, and you actually going and doing something when it comes to you and not feeling this energy. You know, this energy is not the energy that you want to feel when it comes to uh, how, you know, dealing with everyday life. So, again, being a provider of emotional support and starting a stable avenue is where you need to be, but you have to end some things. This card is always scary when it comes out, but you know that you're happy. It's a, a new beginning or an ending or some type of transformation. You have always been the provider of prosperity and power. You have always been, uh, oh, sorry. You have always been a provider of emotional support and maturity. And now here it is, you're starting a stable avenue and it's scary to you. This has always been this card that's scary to everyone, but it doesn't mean that. It means that you have to stop something ahead of time and you have to understand that you feel guilty, but you have to forgive and know that happiness is right. Darkest before the dawn, you know? So the happiness is darkest, darkest before the dawn. And then you'll be on passion and passion and desire gardens, if that makes sense. So that is where you are. Happiness comes, but you will eventually start to travel. You see? But this is traveling with two people instead of one. This is traveling as a family. So that is where you are. And that's why this divine masculine card came out, which I won't be able to find, of course, because I'm looking for it. Where was it at? Well, I don't know where it is. But anyway, that's the reason why the divine masculine card came out, because you are searching in order to heal yourself. And that's when the universe will send someone in your way because the fact that they know that you're mentally and physically ready to give your all to someone. You're this nurturer. You're this nurturer who will take care of this family, but you keep dealing with the type of people that's just running in to deliver you messages and then come in and taking it away. You know, they, they run in and then they take it away. They run in and they take it away. And so how can you be this pregnant woman having this, you know, island behind her 
you know, behind her if she's dealing with somebody walking in and out of her life because she's always been, you know, the provider of emotional support and a provider of prosperity and power, you know? So th this is where this is, you know, you're always gonna have someone walking in and out like this because they know that when they call, you're gonna be there, but you're tired of that. So you're tired of it. And that's why that's ending. You know, that's why it's ending. This person has to, you have to set boundaries with this person or these people, where's the people at? Sorry, you have to set boundaries with this person or this people, but this will continue to happen. You know, this will continue to happen. This will continue to happen when it comes to you having to go around and do certain things and you won't have this lover's thing. It'll always be a third party. It'll always be a third party. You'll always be a part of a third party if you don't set any boundaries. And so that's why you're starting a stable avenue. You know, that's why you're starting this because you're tired of the going back and forth. You're tired of having to walk away and tired of the unknown energy. You know, you're tired of it. So if that makes sense to you, you know, uh, this is, uh, Jacquees is the one, um, you, I'd rather deal with you and your bull, you know, I'd rather deal with you and all your bull, you know, because you know this person, you know this energy, but at the same time, you know, why do you keep having to deal with the same thing? So now you're setting the boundaries and yeah, they won't like it. Someone's not going to like it. So, you know, that's just the way it goes, but you're basically going to be there uh, for that person when they get it together or those people when they get it together. So um, this was a general read for Friday night. Um, I'd rather deal with you, but, you know, sometimes you have to walk away. All right. Peace and blessings.